We've got this sum involving binomial coefficients, and then we've got this fraction 7 thirds to the n power over here on the right hand side. Rewrite the problem so we have it on a fresh sheet of paper. So notice this sum of binomial coefficients is probably the thing that we want to work with, and the most technical piece of that is the binomial coefficient. Write down this nice closed formula for binomial coefficients as n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. If we use that closed formula, it looks like things are going to get really, really technical. This is probably not what we want to use to solve this problem. The second thing would be to recall the recursion involving binomial coefficients. So we can write n choose k as n choose k minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose k minus 1. We can expand x plus y to the nth power using binomial coefficients. It becomes the sum as k goes from 0 to n of n choose k, x to the n, and then y to the n minus k. That almost looks exactly like what we have over here on the left hand side. Notice that x will be 2 in this problem up here. And then here we have 3 to the k minus n, here we have y to the n minus k. 3 will not be y, but the third thing that we wrote down turned out to provide us a path for solving our problem which originally looked intractable. I hope that these tips are useful. Subscribe for more math problems and tips on how to succeed in your math classes.